Hotel man. Hey, hold up, guys. I think I found something. I believe this monolith marks the entrance to an ancient Thauri shrine. What's a Thauri? The Thauri were mythical beings, described in the oldest Underland folktales. Archaeologists believe they were ancestral deities of the Underland. Let's see what else there is to discover on this mural. So who is the big guy? I believe that figure symbolizes one of the Thauri. I can't tell which one it is, but judging from what I can see, I presume he was very... Popular? Well, yes, possibly. That kinda looks like a tree. Yes, I think you're right. I believe it is the Great Asili Tree. Cool! So, what's that? According to the ancient scripture, the Great Asili Tree was planted at the center of the Valley of Roots in the early days of the universe. It is believed to carry the world among its many branches, holding up everything above the mist. It was said that the roots of the Asili Tree contained an ancient mystical power, a power so great that it could bring the dead back to life. If we could just remove some of the vines, I should be able to decipher the runes with the help of Kanan Dodo's book. Good idea! What you need? Well, I think Kito has the machete, but where did he go? <laughs> hey, Buona! Check this out! I'll be right there, buddy! Oh, and be careful. If the caves ahead have been used for sacrifice to the Thauri, the sacred chamber is probably well guarded. The journal specifically mentions traps and a complex series of... Okay, Kevin, gotcha. Wahoo-hoo-hoo-wee! How'd you get up there, man? Hmm, must be remnants from some old expedition. I wonder if Count Andordo was here. Oh man, it's empty. Hey, Kito, I need that machete. Come down from there. <laughs> no way, Mon. Check it out. I'm flying. Cool glowing mushrooms. Looks like they're somehow living off of the hot air coming from below. Whoever made this expedition, they're long gone now. I wonder if they found what they were looking for. These mushrooms must... Get down here, Kito. I want to try. <laughs> Just a little longer. I'm getting pretty good at this. It's the journal of the journey down. That old book has really been through a lot. So, who are all those little guys? The Thauri were revered spirits of the Underland, often depicted in human or animal form. Together, they maintained the balance of nature and guided the living and ancestral spirits through life. I spent countless hours studying these legends back at the university in Saint Armando. That is our Quan, the Great Eagle Thauri king of everything that flies and protector of the Underland. That is Marushaka, the Thori of the Marushaka River, said to rule all living things in the water. There's Log Asha, the Thori of storms, worshipped for protection from hurricanes and floods. That there is Oganon, the tiger form predator Thori, who was believed to bring good fortune in hunting. Where are we now? We're in the caves of Kweirumoshi, some 200 miles from the Hatari Reef. According to the maps, these caves are the only passage that can take us through to the Marushaka River. It is only thanks to your father, Captain Kaunin Dodo, and the incredible book he left behind, that we can navigate through the Underland. Good thing he wrote down all those notes during his early expedition. Yes. Without his book, We'd be completely lost down here, and it'd be impossible to decipher these ancient writings. Somehow, I'm certain that the Journal of the Journey Down has got something to do with Kanan Dodo's disappearance. There must be something of incredible value hidden within the pages of this book. 
Why else would the power company go to such great lengths to find it? Ouch! <laughs> Oops! I forgot I put the cacti in there. <laughs> I told you that was a bad idea. Cacti rule! Hey, Lena, how's it going? I'm trying to clear the vines from the mural so I can read the runes better. But the vines are really thick. If you could help me clear them, that would be great. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Ah, I love my old cacti. <laughs> well, it's pretty sharp. But I seriously doubt I'll be able to cut down any vines with it. Time to come down from there, man. <laughs> I knew the cacti would come in handy one day. You okay, man? <laughs> Not the scratch. Good. You still got the machete? Sure, man. Thanks, Keto. Make way for Buana's archaeological adventures. It... it can't be. Can't be what? This must be the tomb of Nia Kazo. Who? Nia Kazo. According to myth, he was an immensely powerful authority king whose evil reign drained the underland of all life, even causing the great Asili tree to wither. What was Nyakazo up to anyways? According to Underland mythology, Nyakazo was a tyrant who ruled the world for a thousand years. But some scholars believe that Nyakazo may have actually been a metaphor for some sort of natural disaster. Or maybe an ancient plague. That kinda look... I be so the it is it was a pa Ooh. I believe this monolith is some sort of warning. A warning left for us. Oh, maybe we should have read it before we went inside. Well, there's no point looking back now. We have to find another way out of here. Don't worry, Lena. I'm working on it. Great. Ah, these vines might come in handy. Oh, it's still all nice and warm from the hot air. Whoever made this expedition, they're long gone now. I wonder if they found... Hey, what's this? Try it, Mon. Maybe it opens a door or something. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's some kind of booby trap, man. <laughs> you chicken, Buana? Something tells me I'm gonna regret this. That was close. Whoa, check this out, Keto. This place is crazy, man! Looks like there used to be some kind of artifact on this pedestal. But whoever came here ahead of us must have taken it with them. It's probably another booby trap. You chicken? Oh, come on, Mon. I'm not chicken. Come on, press it! What you crazy, Mon? Chicken? No! Chicken, 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 chicken! Oops! <laughs> wow, that was awesome, man! <laughs> it
it burnt all the hair off my head. Man, you haven't had hair since we were kids. <laughs> I think I better just lay low for a while anyways. That was a pretty close call, Mon. Whoa, there's some real hot air coming up from this vent. Hmm, maybe I can fill this thing with hot air again. Ah, fits perfectly. Now let's turn up the heat. <laughs> One more time. Doing okay, Kito? <laughs> All good here, Buana. Just a little short for the fire, but doing good. Wow, it almost made it out of the cave. I wonder if there's some way we can ride that thing out of here. I'll just tie the vines to the crate here. I'll tie the fungus to the vines over the hole. Alright, now let's pump some hot air into this baby. Whoever made this... Time to get ready for takeoff. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> Just watch this. Hey, it's working, man. It's working. <laughs> well, I guess you were right. You really can count on Buana's charters. They're destroying the Underland Man! It's A crash! Thank God you made it! Quick, get in here! You've got to see this! What is this place? This guy must have worked here in the mining station. Looks like a prisoner. Well, at least he got some fresh air. Man, these roots are huge! And they're rock hard, too. Looks like someone has been busy breaking the roots into smaller pieces. Hey, what's this? This little piece has got glowing crystals inside it. Nice! Man, it's locked. But it's very rusty. Time for another prison break. You ready, Mr. Skeleton? 
Guess not. Freedom! Hey, guys! How was your landing? Not so bad! <laughs> That's because you landed on me, Keto. <laughs> so, what is this place? It seems to be an abandoned mining station. Get up here, Buona. I gotta show you something. What's up? Oh, Mon! It's good to see you made it, Buona. You too, man. Hey, man. What you working on? This whole mining site seems to be running from this generator here. I'm trying to get it running, but it won't start. Maybe it's out of gas? I don't think it runs on gas, Buona. The fuel recommendation says premium grade root crystals only. I have no idea what that is. It's not working. That switch controls the bucket chain transport. But without the generator running, it's going nowhere. According to this map, the bucket chains lead up to St. Armando through a series of caves. That must be how the power company avoid the eels that are guarding the mist. There are eels up there? Yeah, man. Big, scary, keto-eating eels, man. They're hungry. What you got, Lena? Have a look at this. This is a map of the power company's mining facilities in the Underland. Cool. So we're down in the corner in Zone 3. It seems like they have now diverted all mining activity to Zone 1 in the Valley of Roots. But why? What's going on here? We are so close to the truth. I can feel it. If only we could get the power going, I bet we can find the answers in that computer. All right, I'll go help Kito with the generator. Good. Ooh, nice view from up here. Looks like the river continues beyond those metal gates. Can't reach from here, man. His roots are rock hard. Manalengo. Bombs away. Can't reach from... Wow, these crystals are beautiful! Kito, try starting the generator now! Okay. Aha! Good job, Mon! Great going, guys. Now, let's see what secrets they're hiding in this computer. Hmm, the data files are encrypted. Aha! It's a 4-bit crypto security lock. must be the power company's secret plans we've been looking for. The Zone 1 Drilling Project. Whoa, that drill is gigantic! 
This is madness. That drill is going to dig into the very heart of the Asili tree. Eh, uh, that can't be good, right? They're going to drain its crystal energy and send it up to Saint Armando. It will completely annihilate all life down here in the Underland. And why in heaven's name would they want to focus so much power into the city anyways? <gasps> what kind of an insane operation is this? No wonder they're trying to keep all of this a secret. I've got to make a hard copy of this. Here, take this microfilm, Buona. Remember I told you about Professor Moorhead, my boss at the Agibo University? He spent years researching underland geology, and he was convinced that the mining company was secretly exhausting the roots of the Great Asili Tree. Finally, we have the proof that he was right all along. You and Kito have to get back to the city and deliver the microfilm to him immediately. Deliver microfilm to Professor. Got it. I'll continue down the Marushaka River to the Valley of Roots. There's got to be a way for me to sabotage the drill, if I can only get into Zone 1. But how are we going to find the Professor? According to the map, this shaft is connected directly to the power company's old facilities on the outskirts of St. Armando. Now that you've got the power running, that bucket elevator should be able to take you all the way. Good luck. You too, Lena. Yeah, good luck. So, you ready to go for that ride, Kito? Yeah, let's go, Moon. Jump on board, buddy. New adventures await. ANN 8 TV, live at 11. The latest update from the number one news team, the Armando News Network. In tonight's top story, increased hostility and unlawful disobedience at Sankara Square. Violent gangs, fume heads, and residential terrorists are forming a violent uprising, challenging Governor Morobo's sweeping anti-criminal reform. And now, Gabby Chicha is with us at Sankara Square, reporting live from the barricade. Thank you, Don. I'm standing here in the chaos of Sankara Town, where the government forces have deployed thousands Hey, turn off that propaganda nonsense. We got company. Company? What are you talking about, Sergeant? Intruders. We got them pinned down in the old excavation shaft. Lock and load. Oh, yeah. Finally some action. OK, scumbags, the game's up. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to trespass. Sorry. Buona, I think we got off on the wrong floor. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all better start talking, or we gonna blast you to pieces. Who you working for? Answer me. Watch it. I know karate. <laughs> no, you don't, Buona. Hey, wait a minute. Buona, Kito, is that you? It's me, Wasi. Hey, long time no see, man. What's up? <laughs> what kind of mess have you gotten yourself into this time? Oh, come on down from there. I'll show you the way to our hideout. Oh, this place rocks. You live down here? This here underground palace, my brother, is the home to the resistance rockers. The resistance rockers? You said it, brother. Bombshell here is slamming the drums, and yours truly rocks the guitar. So what are you doing down here under the city? Oh, that's a long story, man. I'm looking for someone. A professor. Goes by the name of Moorhead. I got some very important information for him. You're looking for a professor down here? In the sewers? Hey, yeah. Uh, this ain't exactly an academic institution, Buana. I suggest you head over to San Caratown and ask around. Maybe someone there knows where to find him. What's going on in the city? Oh, man, Buana, the situation's real bad. Mayor Marobo has lost it, man. She's going haywire. People are being evicted from their homes even as we speak. Barricades keep expanding, and the rich, huh, 
just keep on getting richer. Oh, man, it's madness. Head over to San Cara Square and see for yourself. So, who is this Mayor Marobo? Mayor Marobo is the iron lady on top of the whole wicked system, all right? She fights poverty, literally, by kicking the poor out on the streets. And she owns the media, too. I'm telling you, man, that vampire is sucking the blood out of St. Armando. And she's got the riot police doing her dirty work. Thousands of them. Cold-blooded cops lined up and armed to the teeth, you know? Wow. Really? That's the truth, brother. It's like a police bestiality, man. That's why we gotta reveal her lies and break down the entire system. See you around, Wasi. Later, Buana. Dude, can you do that outside, please? Oh, you bet I can. Hey, what's on the cassette? It's our next big hit, man. We call it the Revolution Rush. The newest, rawest piece of revolutionary rock and roll is gonna change the world, man. If one song can change the course of the universe, the Revolution Rush will be the one. Yeah, if only you can get your pansy ass back up on stage, Wasi. Give me a break, man. You know I'm still processing my emotion from that gig at Woodlock. Yeah, yeah, processing emotions. By the time you finish licking the wounds of your broken pride, this will all be game over, man. Bombshell, I told you, I am not playing this guitar outside of this here room until I get my mojo back. God knows from where, but I swear to you that when I do, I'm gonna shatter the earth with rock and roll. I cannot believe you and your boneheaded ego. It's the river. <laughs> Ah, sure smells like St. Armando. Must be somewhere far from the city center, though. I don't recognize this place. The sign says, Flood Control Canal 412B, City of St. Armando. This must have been one of the many canals they built after the big flood of 79. I remember when that happened. <laughs> Me and Keto had a blast that summer, selling hot dogs from a canoe in the middle of downtown. Authorities never figured out what triggered that flood. I wonder what happened. Nice car. Looks like it's been through quite a lot, though. <laughs> Sounds like someone's taking a nap in there. Hey, mister, you awake? Hey, there's still some gas in the tank. I can't get the gas out with my... Okay, rise and shine, mister. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he must really, really be comfortable in there. All right, let's go check out Sankara Town. I can't believe I've been going to that other place all these years. How long you been here? We just moved here from Kingspot. These noodles are fabulous. I love these little blue thingies. What are they? Oh, that is Chef's secret. Very good for man. Make you good, strong man. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure it does. Yes, so juicy and spicy and so perfectly squishy. Yes, eat Sabokina noodles every day. Make strong heart. Tell all friends. Make great fortune for all. Um, yes, sure. Hey, Sabo, my man! 
Buana! Go to see you back in Sabo Kitchen again! Makina, uh, look who come visit! Hey, would you look at that? Hey, Makina! You missed me? Buana, you crazy donkey! I never thought I'd see you again! Did you get yourself in trouble again? Trouble? Me? I lay super low. Play it super cool and lay like super duper low. If you say so, Buana, I'm just glad you're back in one piece. You guys heard of a Professor Moorhead? Sorry, Buana. Sabo, you heard of a Moorhead? No, sorry. All right, thanks, guys. So who is this Morobo woman? Yeah, she's into some real shady deals, it seems. He's selling it all out for her own personal gains, I guess. Morobo make all evictions. Make barricades. I suppose we're gonna have to move again. But we blew our last savings getting this joint. I don't really know how we're gonna solve this. Hey, don't worry about it, Makina. I'm sure we'll figure something out. I sure hope so, Buona. Why you leave Kingsport Bay? Kingsport isn't what it used to be, Buona. After you left, the power company switched off the electricity and barricaded the whole area. Lucky for me, Sabo stumbled into my life, giving me all sorts of praise for my cooking. Well, we fell in love and our new restaurant was a fact. Oh, that's a beautiful story, Makina. Catch you later, guys. Take care, Buona. Hey, what's that funny thing? <laughs> Creepy bunny. Stop it, Buona. You're draining the batteries. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, lady, what's that big blue thing? Is that a tire? Well, getting a hold of Madiagla here in the city has been difficult. So we had to move into some more experimental cooking. Oh. 